Good afternoon and welcome to this week's edition of Getting to Know Our Heavenly Family. As we learn about the life of St. Gianna Beretta Mola. In less than 40 years, Gianna Beretta Mola became a pediatric physician, a wife, a mother, and a saint. She was born October 4th, 1922. That's right, less than 100 years ago in Magenta near Milano, the 10th child of Alberto and Maria Beretta's 13 children. At the age of three, Gianna and her family moved to Bergamo, and she grew up in the Lombardy region of Italy. As a young girl, Gianna openly accepted her faith in the Catholic Christian education provided to her from her loving parents. She grew up viewing life as God's beautiful gift and found the greatest necessity in effectiveness in prayer. In 1942, Gianna began her study of medicine in Milan. She was a diligent and hardworking student, both at the university and in her faith. An active member of the St. Vincent de Paul Society and a leader in the Catholic Action Movement, Gianna was known as one who applied her faith in an apostolic service for the elderly and the needy. She is quoted as saying, one earns paradise with one's daily task. She lived to serve Jesus Christ present in others. In her free time outside of her charitable work, Gianna also enjoyed skiing and mountain climbing. She earned degrees in medicine and surgery from the University of Pavia, especially specializing in pediatrics. In 1952, Gianna opened a clinic in the small town of Messero, specializing in pediatrics, and she was drawn towards mothers, babies, the elderly, and the poor. Gianna considered the field of medicine to be her mission and treated it as such. She increased her generous service to Catholic Action, a movement of lay Catholics dedicated to living and spreading the Catholic social teaching in a broader culture. The Catholic Action movement is still at work today throughout the world. Gianna hoped to join her brother, a missionary priest in Brazil, where she intended to offer her medical expertise in gynecology to poor women. However, her chronic ill health made this impractical and she continued her practice in Italy. She chose the vocation of marriage and considered this to be a gift from God. Gianna embraced this gift with all her being and completely dedicated herself to forming a truly Christian family. In December of 1954, Gianna met Pietro Mola, an engineer who worked in her office. They were officially engaged the following April and married in September 1955, making Gianna a happy wife. Shortly before their 1955 marriage, Gianna wrote to Pietro, love is the most beautiful sentiment that the Lord has put into the souls of men and women. In the next four years, the Molas had three children, Perlugi, Maria Zita, and Laura. Two pregnancies following ended in miscarriage. Gianna handled motherhood with grace and was able to harmonize all aspects of her demanding life. In 1961, pregnant with their fourth child, Doctors discovered that Gianna had both a child and a tumor in her uterus. After examination, the doctors gave her three choices, an abortion, which would save her life and allow her to continue to have children, but take the life of the child she carried in her womb, a complete hysterectomy, which would preserve her life, but take the unborn child's life and prevent further pregnancy, or removal of the fibroma, with the potential of further complications which could save the life of her baby. Catholic teaching affirms what medical science, the natural law, the Bible, and unbroken Christian tradition affirm. The child in her womb has a fundamental human right to life. Wanting to preserve her child's life, Gianna opted for the third choice, only removing the fibroma. She truly believed that what is quoted as what she is quoted as saying. Our task is to live holy the present moment. She allowed the surgeons to remove the tumor, but not to perform the complete hysterectomy that they had recommended, which would have killed the child. Seven months later in 1962, April, baby Gianna Emanuela Mola was born at the hospital in Monza, but post-operative complications resulted in an infection for her mother. Prior to the surgery, Gianna told a priest, I have entrusted myself to the Lord in faith and hope against the terrible advice of medical science. Either mother or child, I trust in God, yes, but now I must fulfill my duty as a mother 
I renew the offer of my life to the Lord. I am ready for everything, provided the life of my child is saved. In the final weeks of her pregnancy, she reiterated that if a decision had to be made between her and her child's life, they should save the child. On April 21st, Gianna gave birth to her fourth child, Gianna Emanuela. Seven days later, the mother died of complications from that birth. The following week, Gianna Mola died at home and was buried in the cemetery of Messera. Gianna Emanuela went on to become a physician herself. Gianna Beretta Mola, the mother, was beatified on April 24th, 1994 by Pope John Paul the Great and officially canonized 10 years later on May 16th, 2004. Her husband and her children, including Gianna Emanuela, attended her canonization ceremony making this the first time a husband witnessed his wife's canonization. St. Gianna Beretta Mola is the patron saint of mothers, physicians, and unborn children. Her liturgical feast day is April 28th. St. Gianna Beretta Mola was a physician, a working mom, a professional woman, and a loving wife. She has now been raised to the altar in heaven and provides particular inspiration to all those who experience the constant demands and confusing signals that our current culture places on us. In an age when marriage, family life, virtue, and holiness are under assault from many sides, the life of St. Gianna Beretta Mola is a striking witness of hope and beauty. Let us pray. Jesus, I promise you to submit myself to all that you permit to befall me. Make me only know your will. My most sweet Jesus, infinitely merciful God, most tender father of souls, and in particular way of the most weak, most miserable, most infirm, which you carry with special tenderness between your divine arms. I come to you to ask you through the love and merits of your sacred heart, the grace to comprehend and to do always your holy will, the grace to confide in you, the grace to rest securely through time and eternity in your loving divine arms. St. Gianna Mola, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. God bless.